And today I've got another Minecraft Redstone tutorial for you guys. And guys, I'm sorry I haven't been doing no videos for quite a while. I've just like, like one day I just lost like the habit of doing video. Like I was gonna do it, like oh, I'm gonna do a video, or oh, like then I couldn't be bothered. So, but I'm doing one now. And yeah, guys. And then recently, guys, I've just hit 11 subscribers. 11. Yeah, that's a lot to me. And. When I first started, guys, I thought I would not even hit one. But, uh, you guys really certainly do like. And, guys, just so you know, I have now got a gaming PC and I've got Minecraft. So, uh, not now, but eventually in the future, I'll be able to like, play mini games on the uh, PC. But I can't do that right now because I just sort everything out on the cameras and all that stuff. Well, for, and I'm doing it for my Xbox movie. There's, there's a couple of them, not a lot of them, but there's a couple of them. And I am one. So today, guys, I will be showing you this. This is an automatic TNT cannon. And when I say automatic, you only have to press a button and it goes mental. So, here it is. It's 3 by 8. Not yet. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's three wide and eight long. It's quite expensive, but it's fully automatic. So here we go. Right, I'm gonna I'm behind me class so it don't push me back. Let me try. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the TNG. There we go. And guys, I know it's really cool, but there are a couple of thoughts about this. It is immune to self-destruct on itself. Over here, that this was one of them, and it self-destructed. Cause here's what happening. Literally, you got a clock at the back, and when you hit the button, it activates the clock. So it literally is a clock. And load it and get around two loads of TNT in uh, the chamber, and you get around two in there. So if it goes wrong and you get one P, it go kaboom quite badly. This what it did. Oh, it's raining, great. So and the range on it is incredible. So yeah. Look, there it is, look. So, yeah. So, over here, look. It got over here. So, it's a very good TNT cannon. So, but it, again, guys, it is immune to self destruct on itself. Quite often. So, yeah, you get TNT going quite far and you get TNT going mild. That you should have picked all your horse in there. So, and guys, they use the new Minecraft mechanic what we had in the uh, latest update for Xbox 360. So now uh, you put the TNT in a dispenser and you activate the dispenser, the TNT come out lit. Like, so, before you only got the little thing, but if you want to do it, how it do it, before you had to put it in a drop off. So, yeah. So, guys, let me, Andrew, turn it off. You just want, you just had to keep clicking. There we go, and it stopped. There we go. So, I think you guys want to know how you build it. So, guys, I'm not going to give you exact resources, but you can see here you need five. The main things are you need around uh, eight repeaters, a couple like salmon rest and dust, um, and you need to build them some redstone and block. So guys, this is what I recommend for the build. So let me just get my so you for the you need uh, five dispensers, eight repeaters, so oh um, that's seven, eight repeaters, seven redstone dust. Uh you will need mmm look no, wait, pink. No. Seven redstone dust. You need a sticky piston. 
and a wood bucket. Oh yeah, and a, you, you need a wooden pressure plate. A wooden, it has to be wooden. And oh, loads of TNT. So, and, a, and you need a stone button. So, let me get my building block. So guys, I'm going to so first, you want to go up to your, so if it is a 8 by 3, so 3 wide, 8 long. So first, you're going to go up to here and go 1, 2 on this side, on the, on the left side. You're going to go 2 high, then put a dispenser there, then put a, a fence, a wooden fence with your pressure plate. Then you want to go out, then you want to go up 3 high again, so you should have this. Then you want to come out four blocks from this. One, two, three, four. And on the opposite side of this dispenser, so that's this side, you want to put your four dispensers. One, two, three, four. So you can do that by uh, crouching, sneaking. Then you want to fill in this side here. So now we have to just put the bits of a redstone in. So now you want to put four repeaters up here. So I'm four ticks today, like so. Then, guys, you want to go your redstone, redstone dust up here. Now the timing circuit. Let me just swap this out for another piece. So now for the timing circuit, you want to go up to this block. Then you want to skip this block, so put a block there, put a block there, delete this block, because that's where your sticky piston is going to be going. Then you want to make an oval like this, so miss out that block. Then you want to put your sticky piston in here, a block in here, a block there, a block there, and a block there, and a block there, with a uh, dust there. Put these repeaters on for full delay all of them are full text delay so guys all of these repeaters should be on full delay so now the only thing to do is to put down your water bucket oh yeah guys then you want to put down your button any of these redstone will do so now so now you just want to fill in all your redstone so guys Right, when you're filling it up, I'm, I'm going to go put one in each one because I can't be over to fill it all up. So guys, if I put in more TNT than the ones, because they, literally, they have it works. The ones activate first because there's no water on this. So this, these ones have to push this one off before it explodes. So they had to go, so they go off and this one's ticking down. So then this one I have to push these like that. So So if I click the button there we go. There we go guys, 